Yes. What's that? What can I help you with? As you can see, I'm a boot designer now. I don't know if, if I have the time. Well, perhaps I'll make time. What's up, everybody? Yeah, we have a custom boot. Ugh. Okay, so uh, the, the Wesco was a custom fitted boot. This one here is a custom design boot. Yes, didn't know I fancied myself as a boot designer, did you? <laughs> All right, from Planet Cowboy. <laughs> All right, so here we go. The story behind this one is, I had a, a hide from SB Tanning, uh, which uh, who Red Wing uses, and I bought it over a year ago, and I sat on it, because I was like, what am I, what am I gonna do with this, with this hide? Um, I thought about having my old lady make me a bag, but I wanted to do something a little bit special with it. So I sat on it, and I thought, what, what can I do, what can I do? Lo and behold, spoke to the owner of Planet Cowboy, um, and I asked her, I said, hey, if I have a leather, can you make me a pair of boots? And she said, yeah. She's like, uh, as long as it, um, you know, there's different types of leather, like leather for purses, leather for wallets, it's a bit thinner. And she said, as long as it is thick enough for, for shoes, I was like, yeah, I got it from SB Tanning, which is Red Wings boot uh, source, leather source. And, uh, FedEx the leather to Nashville, and um, well, be, first I drew a, I drew a, a boot, and we went back and forth of like, you know, this is what I'm looking for. I need, I want this, 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 and this, and um, it took no time, man. It was like not even, I don't even think it, maybe four weeks, not five weeks, not you know, not nothing crazy, you know, like a a 12 or 14 or 16 week wait, um, and. She showed me photos like during the process and um, bam, here they are. They have arrived. Oh, and also, well, let's just open, let's just get into it before we get into the also. This is the also. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> here it is. Look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look at this bad boy. So here is the boot that I designed with that red wing leather. So cool and the boop oh <laughs> man I am excited and also um, as I just kind of pointed out I had leftover you know it was a it was a hide so I had leftover leather to make an actually matching belt to go with the boot so I mean come on now how cool is that I I can't even tell you I, I I love it, man. I absolutely love it. And now I'm thinking like, okay, what else, what other thing can I, what other uh, designs can I come up with to, uh, you know, to get these cool, unique boots, one of a kind boots. Um, so yeah, um, I, I even forgot to tell you what I have on. I'm wearing um, Rio Sa Mercedes uh, McCor. This is the horse uh, leather roper, um, which Planet Cowboy carries. I forgot to even mention that. I'm so excited to show you guys this boot. Um, look at that. I, I think we just need to take a closer look at this. What, I don't even know what we call it. There's no name for it. It's just the custom Planet Cowboy boot with SB tanning leather. I don't know. What do you, <laughs> what do you, there's no name. This, you know, yeah, I don't know. But let's take a closer look at this beautiful Beautiful. Ah. Beautiful boot. Okay, here is a close up look at the custom design boot from Planet Cowboy. So, as I said, um, I had this leather, and what I did is I basically sat down and drew 
what I wanted. I drew out how I wanted things to be and this is what I sent to um, the owner of Planet Cowboy. Um, kind of like with notes of round toe, brown outsole, rough out leather, and then I said um, no bug on the toe and I wanted you know rough out here, smooth on the shaft, and then I want, initially I said yellow side weld, but then I thought about it and I went with a cream um, piping and uh, or uh, cream side weld and cream piping on the top. And then um, she asked me if I wanted the rough out here and I said, no, I want this to be smooth, um, which I'm glad I did because you know your jeans will rub on this. Um, and uh, I, I had requested stitching on the shaft but uh, when I saw the first layout and uh, I thought it was fine without the, the stitching on the shaft. So I'm totally good with that. Um, I wanted an inch and a half heel and a brown uh, outsole. And then uh, 13 inches, I said, um, uh, as uh, the height of the shaft. So uh, I, I am very, very pleased with how they turned out. Um, when I saw the initial photo, it, it was just the upper of the boot without the, the sole. And I thought, this is absolutely perfect. This is what I wanted. Um, which kind of like, if you look at uh, Red Wings Pecos, uh, this is very close to the vintage Pecos of, of what they did. Um, they, there, was, there aren't any, um, if you look at the 14, 1472, 1474, 1473, the shafts uh, do not have any uh, stitching on them. Uh, they, they have, you know, the side welt and they have the vamp coming up to hold uh, the shaft in case, you know, it starts to get soft or when it does get soft. Um, and the one thing that, I, that really surprised me um, when the boots, I saw a video of the boots um, which were sent to me, was the sole. This, I thought, I was not expecting this. I was expecting a full just flat leather sole. But this, um, this is a really nice touch. I, I was, I'm I, kind of <laughs> like speechless at how gorgeous that is. Look at that. I'll do a close up so you can see um, what, what's actually going on there. But this is just so cool. And then you know, there's a, a rubber uh, on the heel for, for that impact and comfort. Um, I, there, there's nothing that I would change uh, about this whatsoever. It's just perfect in every single way. Um, uh, the one thing that I, oh, I have my, my Wesco here just to show you as far as the height. Uh, so um, let's go, you can see like side by side. So the Wesco is 14, uh, 14 inches on the shaft. This one is uh, 13 because I know um, some folks were, were saying how high the, the Wesco was, but the Wesco is basically um, kind of like at a, a Western boot style um, height. So um, I've actually been wearing these quite a lot, trying to break them in, but I, I wanted just to show that for the height level. Um, but yeah, these, uh, this leather, um, is definitely something that I will do for like those warmer, um, warmer days, um, uh, late spring, early summer, full on summer. This is going to be my go-to boot for sure. It's going to look really cool, um, with, my natural selvage denim um, and on, and let's look at the belt too so uh, when you know I was like oh do I uh, the the owner she asked me she's like do you want to go smooth or you want to do rough out and I initially I said rough out but then she's like I can do both and I thought oh let's do that so um, that's just like a perfect match if we're if you're going for you know it's just look at that oh gosh come on guys it's, let's see if I can get that in there. Just, <laughs> just gorgeousness all around. I was just happy that I had enough leather to do that because she, she said there will be some leftover leather. Do you want a belt? And I was like, yeah, no brainer. Let's do that. I, that's a, that's cause to find a, I can probably, it's easier probably to find a fashion belt in the rough out gray than it would be this kind of like boundary. Now, um, this kind of has uh, almost like a, la it's gray, but also has like a lavender hues to it when you look at it in natural daylight, which is really cool. Um, and initially I thought it was the Iron Ranger. So the Iron Rangers that are coming out 
um, for Red Wing. Um, this, it, this is that leather on the, on the rough out. Um, or it's extremely similar to that. I think that the Iron Rangers might be just a, t a tad darker now that I think about it. And this boundary leather, that's, what, that's why I'm, I think it may be a tad darker. This one may be closer to the mock toes that came out um, on the women's line, I think. I'm gonna have to double check, but um, I, it makes me wanna like go back and find another Red Wing hide um, from SB Tanning and do something else like from that line uh, because having this option and that knowing now the fit. So for Planet Cowboy, um, she sizes the same as Luquese. So whatever your, your boot size is in Luquese is what um, you would be in the Planet Cowboy boot. And she makes some really cool custom boots. Um, her, her own like um, catalog uh, of Planet Cowboy boots are, are pretty, pretty fire. These, so she, uh, she has a plan, uh, she works with a boot maker in Mexico and she works with a boot maker in Texas. These were made in Texas. Um, and I, th I think the reason why um, I was able to get these um, sooner rather than like a 12 week, 14 week, 16 week is just because of what's going on with the pandemic. There's just not a lot of um, um, uh, retailers making um, boots, I think. And so that, that's why the turnaround was so, so quick. But uh, hey, I, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll take that, man. I, I, I was initially, because I didn't get fitted, like custom fitted for these. So I was hoping they would fit, number one. And um, they arrived today. I put them on and I immediately got on the phone uh, with her. And I was like, let's do some more now that I know the fit. Because it would have been unfortunate if they were too small. Um, they just would have, I'd probably get, uh, maybe I will sold them or just kept them as just like a nice, cool um, piece. But uh, man, you guys, you, know, you don't understand, you don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let's do a close up so you can see uh, the details of that sole. Let's do that right now. So, okay, so here you can see a close up of that sole. How cool is that? When we're in focus, how cool is that? And you have your uh, pegging down here going on as, as uh, Western boots do and a look at that brown heel and just look at these details and that that cream i'm glad i went with the cream piping i was going to do yellow but i think this is just so cool it matches really nicely with that uh that leather look at that Oof. the details let's see if we can do the top here and show the uh yeah there it is right there the matching uh cream on there and then in the inside in there you can see uh, Planet Cowboy, which is really cool. A little stamp on that leather. And the lining's really nice as well on here. I love the belt. Look at that. Very cool. And I think, oh yes, I can remove this if I wanted to put like a really cool buckle, like a big, you know, kick <laughs> buckle. <Oop. laughs> Details on that. And that belt. All right, so there's my uh, custom design boots. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm so, so excited. All right, let's do the on feet. All right, I normally don't like doing these with the sun so bright. And in the sun, uh, I prefer overcast just because I don't want to have shadows. Um, but I want to beat the snow and the cold weather so uh i'm out here doing this now but uh so as you can see i paired these with tenu denim natural selvage denim because kind of the thought with the uh cream side well something that would go and uh, work perfectly with that uh, side weld and that natural selvage uh, just to highlight that actually um, I think they look really cool. And I can't remember if we spoke about this or not, but uh, the, the leather that I purchased from Red Wing is uh, the Boundary Granite, which is on the mock toe um, from the Red Wing Heritage women's line. So, which works out perfectly because this kind of is like a dress 
a dress uh, western. So it's a softer leather, which is, works out perfectly versus like having the, um, what did I, versus having, let's say, a thicker work leather on, uh, on a Western. So it's gonna break in much easier. Having the softer boundary on the inside, since this is a rough out, uh, will mold quicker. And uh, the shaft also, having that boundary is gonna take on some nice details and uh, get a nice patina, which also kind of makes sense as to why there's kind of like a lavender slash um, purple, purplish kind of color on that. Let's see if I can get that, let's go this way. That kind of like purplish lavender going on in the leather is because it is that boundary granite. And if you looked at the mock toes, you would see that on, uh, on those mock toes itself. But these boots are amazing. I s look at these things, they're so freaking cool. And they're absolutely one of a kind because the leather I purchased, I sent down there, designed them myself and uh, could not be happier with the outcome. I just wish the light was a bit more even so you can see and not have too many shadows on the boot. But uh, yeah, look at these bad boys. And this, the outsole, the sole feels pretty good. This, let's see if I can get a shot where it's not uh, in shadow. Just looking at that leather outsole. I mean, they just did a tremendous job building these and um, this will be maybe, this will be the f obviously the first, but definitely not the last. I have a couple ideas already of what I want to do next with a couple of different leathers. So it's more just about like which way to go, but um, extremely pleased with these. They're very comfortable. I just need the weather to be uh, not sloppy and not nasty so that I can actually wear these this would be like a warmer weather uh, boot for me due to the light colors of that uh, rough out but um, once that does shift over to uh, having a, a more um, warmer temps then uh, these will probably be on my feet every single day to be honest with you <laughs> Very happy with these. Thank you so much, Planet Cowboy. All right, that is my custom granite boundary boot by Planet Cowboy. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.